What's up, everybody? Yo, man, that's how quick it happens. Sometimes you're biting your finger, and then Nick gets live when you look foolish. You look foolish. Hey, everybody. I'm thinking about getting a mohawk, Nick. How's that right, Mike? Nah, not really. Okay. Just my hair is kind of going. That's just it not being done. Indeed. That's it. That's just being Sunday, Sunday morning. Laziness. <laughs> lazy, straight laziness. Yeah, straight up lazy. I, um, like, I can't be bothered to do it. Uh, people are already saying that they are worried about this week. This the this Kickstarter letter oh. is going to hurt the wallets. And I inform everyone that the the key to life in dealing with Kickstarter is to have no money. Oh, 100%. you can want the games all you want, Nick. But guess what? You ain't gonna get them. Yeah, you're not gonna get them. You ain't gonna get them. You know what I mean? So just be like us. You move over. It's if you can, like a hair. But if it'll make your life difficult, yep, well, if you can mind. scooch the light, then scooch the TV. That'd be great for me. Uh, Nick, we got the Paisano in here. Move the TV over anymore. Um, that's as far as I need it, man. Right there is where I want it. That's exactly what I want. Chris Paisano in here says, Where's I've the been Pizan? the worst team ping bong member. Uh, I miss all of you like, whoa. I'm actually <laughs> at work catching up on stuff before DTC. Plus, uh, side, I can watch in the background since no one's in the office. Ooh. Yeah, for a while. Crystal, uh, hello, by the way. And we just need you whenever you come in. It's just always a wonderful bonus. Um, and I was in a yeah. similar boat thinking like, yeah, you know, maybe I can go in on Sunday. Maybe I'll go on Monday morning before we fly out. Do a couple more admin things. Then on Friday, I was just like, hell no, that ain't happening. I ain't going nowhere. I sent some emails saying like, these are some emails that need to go out. Here's a couple notes about it. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I'm not doing anything else. I can't. I'm just, yeah. I, 100%. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. I was like, they can figure it out. That's fine. Yeah. You know, but um, Crystal, you're just better than me is what I'm getting at here. When do you head out to uh, Flow Rider? We're heading out tomorrow afternoon. Going to arrive in a little after midnight East yeah, Coast getting, time. Getting late. To a nice balmy, probably 85 degrees. It's going to be great. Oh, I let's see. I'm gonna, let's do a little weather report because it's changed a bit. But last year we were. It was so, it was so lucky. Nice. It was fairly mild. It was definitely humid and stuff. But it was fairly mild. But it was like 75 and humid. Like yeah. not bad at all. In uh, oh, well, okay, Nick. Tomorrow we're not gonna be there really tomorrow. But tomorrow's yeah. partly cloudy. Yeah, 98 degrees. 93. Okay. Okay. Tuesday, 95 with thunderstorms. Wednesday, Nick, check it out. 95 thunderstorms. Thursday, might need to bring a coat. 92 with thunderstorms. All right. Friday, 91 with thunderstorms. What's happening? Freaking blizzard coming in. Right. And then luckily, Saturday goes 92, Sunday, 92, and we leave on Monday, 91. Yeah. Again, thunderstorms all the way through. Oh, yeah. I'm fine with thunderstorms. Remarkably I would love. Consistent. I love the fact there was like lightning every day. Every day. It's yeah. Great. I love that it's part. Great. I love that part. Because then when the lightning flashes, the only... you can see the gators rushing you. Yeah. You know, which is great. Yeah. You want to see it coming. You yeah. know, like, so. It's uh, it's just good oh, to know what you're I getting into. Florida. Yeah, I love it. I love it I just don't. for for being because it's so foreign. It. But the thing is, I love it because we don't ever have to stay. That's We're never true. going to be That's stuck true. there. I don't love it. I don't love it. It was um, like DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is over a hundred plus Celsius. Wow, that's crazy <laughs> hot. Netherlands is nuts. Boiling up. No, it's been crazy hot. Like like yeah. Dave's been struggling. It's yeah. like it's been so hot, and none of them have AC. AC. Yeah, because why would yeah. you? It says almost France almost hit one hundred and twenty. Wow. Like, that is not normal. I mean, climate change ain't real. You know I know. I mean? That's the thing about it. I'm like, oh, yeah. Are you sure? Are you freaking sure? What the hell is going on? Because I remember, like, last year, there was a big heat wave in London. And it's the same thing. Like, no one yeah, has no AC prepared. because, no because you don't need it. Like, usually, if it's hot, you turn on a little fan and you're fine. It happens in San Francisco And people were, like, while. panicking. Yeah, yeah, because they didn't know what to do because it was so hot. Yeah. Uh, it's a great time. Well, hey, everybody. We are doing, as you can see behind us here, this is not a green screen. We got a whole new wall. Uh Specifically for Sundays, we will have it torn down. Yep, we have contractors coming in at 5.30 p.m. to oh. take that back on down. Because our games are, are sealed away in drywall right Yeah, now. it's can't kind of get to them. annoying. We can't get to them. We have people coming over. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, we are, uh, we're having Kickstarter that hearts. We're going to go through Kickstarter. This one, we're going to have to make sure we're going at a pretty good clip because uh, they have some people coming over. So, um yeah. Oh, we, will, we are on a, a bit of a time crunch, so we will be skipping some stuff where, again, we're only going off of the list that... Mike, you tell me the command Discord for me, brother. Um, boop, boop. We're going do, 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 off of a list that our here? lovely slivers... Um, oh, no, we can't. Shoot, we're not... Never mind. We're not in... Um... 
<laughs> we're not in our um oh, hold on hold on here my stop <laughs> you don't know how <laughs> okay type discord over here there i got it <laughs> <laughs> so uh we're we'll put in our discord you can you can see the list we're going off of that our lovely slivers is uh compiled for us which was just so so wonderful of him how wonderful of him um because he is just the best so i'm gonna drop a discord link if you want to join our discord please you can see free. a good picture of our dear birdman kissing a wax statue of vin diesel that's the link to our Discord. So you can see the list as we're following along, or you can just follow along and when we pull up the campaigns. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do you want to get this? Do you want to get this thing popping up in here? Yeah, let's go ahead and get, get it pooping um, because get it popping in. Again, we want to make sure. So boom, kicks uh, off. Back whoa, to the kicks off. Boom, whoa, kicks off. Yeah. So I have the list on my computer here, which is why uh, I have this out just so we can check and see what's coming. I have my mom's 1998 uh, women's retreat. A uh, Alcoholics Anonymous women's retreat clutch. Clutch retreat. There. 98 was a great year. For alcoholics? Well, yeah, for alcoholics. We're getting our stuff together in the woods. That's true. Because they were just like, man, I don't want the kids to watch The Matrix. That doesn't seem safe. I mean, they got 99. That's my friends about a year off. Oh! oh what is that got where? Diz! Diz! What's over, up, Diz? Diz goes over to Twitch. Dude, overachiever over Drop here. them bits. Probably not even here. He's not here. He's just creeping. You know, he just knew we were going to be live. Did yeah, it. so uh, sure that, that is an alert that happens on our Twitch, of which we are not on. We're on the YouTubes right now. Not yet, it. Um, but he went over to Twitch to drop Thank those you, uh, Thank Dizzles, you for that. if you're up in here. Thank you so much. If you follow us over on Twitch, a uh, thing will pop up right around here. It'll be great. Um, okay, so we are going to go ahead and start. The first one on our list, I actually already have queued up. It was it was farther up, but look at Quantrack. That's not Quan Chai. That's Quan Chai. That is a self-portrait of Quan Chai Moray. I think that's how he feels. He's like, I am but a radish I don't know what these man. dudes are, but I love them. They look like turnips. They're little turnip people. Yeah, yeah. little turnip people. But no, that's, that's not first. On the underground. Oh, this is, is up in here. What a do, brother? What a day. On the underground. On the underground. Um, Dave Phillips, I'm going to be in Phoenix in a couple weeks. I yeah, don't. Man. And Diz. I don't think I'm, I'm no, 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 no. working. Only to David. <laughs> you you showed your true colors. Hey, Diz. Take offense I forgot to that. Was here for a second. Take offense to that, bro. Um, <laughs> so, Ooh, okay, can we already talk about the inclusive meeples? Loving that. Ooh, cool. What the hell is this? Well, develop the underground, which is the tib. The tib. The subway. Um, and attract passenger traffic, a remastered edition of the Clever Network building one hour game for two to five. So far, I'm not going to lie to you, without knowing anything, I'm all in. All in I like this. the box. I like this, this kind of weird, kind of yes. uh, airbrushy art. Developing an underground. You can build some things. Oh, you just broke this. Oh, look at that you. broken heart emote. How dare you? He's going to stand in the 115 degree sun. He's going, why God? Why? I'll be I'll be in. Um, Where he will instantly burst into flames. I'll be in your Phoenix. and uh, But first I'm going to Phoenix, which huh? I'm sure will be great. But first time going to Phoenix. Well, Phoenix is a city. Yeah, it's a city. You know, It's a city in the United States it's, that exists. exists. It exists. Um uh, it's rare to work on something you love, cool. but yeah, so I'll be there for work. I don't think I'll be there. They have a good out zoo. Anybody, but... I went to the zoo there, and it's good. Weird. I've been to a lot of town zoos. I I, I like zoos. seeing the zoos. I like places. zoos a lot. Phoenix like Zoo is pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. When I went, when I went to spring training that one time, it was awesome. So. Um, so the massive network of London Underground Station makes up one of the most complex transportation systems in the world, okay. and on the underground challenges you to develop it. So. Um, Game for players who love to create. I mean, we've talked many times about that. I think that's the thing that is the most universal about board gamers. They like to create stuff and build things. This and that's cool why look. things like this, this like route cool building look. games, are attractive because at the end you see something that you've built. We all like to build and create and tinker. And that, that may take many forms. Yeah. We are creative people. We are artists at heart, every one of us. Yeah, so listen, we're building building routes. It comes with an all-new Berlin map. Berlin. They're going to take the freaking trains. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I mean, it's, just, it's a remake of it, but they you know, they made all the art new and a all that stuff. Um, they said, you're going to be here just something the airport. No, I'm going to be there. I have a work event in there, but I'm working, so I won't be able to like, hang out or anything like that. But um, Dave Phillips uh, says, did I go to the Phoenix Zoo or the Wildlife World Zoo? I believe I went to the Phoenix Zoo. Okay. Okay. So you got double-sided boards. All the time. This looks fun. I think it was the Phoenix Zoo. Pretty sure. 
I, I love the art. I love this kind of, again, this airbrushy, very vibrant. Yeah. Dutch is like, with me. Very like, cool the point of backing this. I mean, yeah. I like the big bends and... and... Big bends and the Space Needles. Yeah. Um, it's great. That's Seattle. The, the Berlin Epcot Center. Is it? We decided earlier to include more than one passenger to shape options and thus created five shaped tokens were born. Three of them, wheelchairs are elderly and pregnant, were kindly provided by Eno Tool and Alban VR. So does that factor into the game? Like you need to make accessibility I don't a thing? Or is it just for flavor? I, I don't think so. I'm good so. at either way. I don't need it to be a I think a it's just, thing in the just game. to have new meeples. Love it. Does not look like it. That's cool. Very cool. All right, next up. Okay. How right. much is that one? Uh, 39 is the base pledge. See, I'm so bummed because I was talking about, like, we don't have money, doesn't matter, but I'm like, this is pretty interesting. Seeing yeah. That. I'm for 39, intrigued. this looks great for 39 40 bucks. bucks. Yeah, yeah I'm are you like, kidding me? For wow. 40 bucks, this is a great looking game. Seems like a great $40 game. Yeah, so, cool. Might have to come back to that one. Might have to find some money in the budget. What's it got left? I think it's in El Budge. Pretty... Okay, so we got two weeks yeah. left. Okay. Uh, what's up, Emilio? Um, how, <laughs> is, how is Portugal? Hey, man. How is, yeah, how the heck is Europa? Um, okay, so now we have Kodama 3D. We like Kodama. Kodama's a, a good, we got a good roll, right? Yeah, Kokoro, based in the same world as all of this business. Is it Kokoro? I always get those mixed up. Kokoro is always wrong. On the streets of Kodama is Kokoro. So we've not ever played Kodama, but you build the tree. All right. An intriguing <laughs> 3D version of Kodama, the tree spirits. <laughs> uh, oh, they went to a... Um, Come. A high out last night in Lis Lisbon. What? What are you talking about? You need to go to one. Dude, you're living your best life, dude. Um, Just $2 what? Pork sandwich? Dude, that's a pretty... Dude, did you get 75 of them? Because that's a good value. That two is bucks? acceptable. I'll eat a two, acceptable I'll eat a two buck dollars. pork sandwich from anywhere. <laughs> I don't care how risky. I don't want to do it because it's a good value. Um... Okay, illustrated by Quan Chai Moria, our favorite, or my favorite. Is that you, Four Blue Wars? I don't know. That was not English, dude. But I, I know. I know you were asking, you know, is that my favorite board game? Yeah, artist? I literally I said, is that your Four Blue Wars? That's exactly what I just said, dude. That was I, I speak Nick fluently. You do, though. you do. Um, I don't know. I like his stuff a lot. I yeah. haven't seen as much of his stuff as you have. Yeah. Um, but I quite. I like his stuff a lot. Like, I like Vincent Dutrade's stuff, but I like his better. His is more interesting to me. Yeah. So, that's just thinking, I'm just thinking of another big guy. Uh, one person's art who I'm really enjoying, and it hasn't always been for a board game, is Oliver Barrett, because we've seen stuff, like, on his um, you know Instagram and stuff. He's doing all these things for based on Kubrick films. He's check on. I'm super excited for that. And, like... Dude is stupid. His, well, his full metal jacket pieces is. are amazing. Yeah, I'm just like oh, I'm just like oh. you're a crazy talented artist, bro. Like I don't know if you're gonna end up doing more and more board game stuff, but like I hope. I you mean, do, if they think you work on Mondo, maybe. I mean, at the very very yeah, least, he's right. gonna, they're gonna expand. The, I don't know if they're gonna try and keep him throughout for everything from matched. It'd be kind of cool to do that, and also kind of cool to not. So you have like wildly different styles. I agree. I agree. But, like I also things... love his stuff so much. I'm kind of like, dude, you should just let him do know, anything he wants. But I don't know. Um, what are some of your favorite uh, board game artists? Put them in the chat, folks. Indeed. So the biggest risk, ri biggest risk of a pork sandwich is not having one. I agree. No, damn. Uh, it says, right. indie boards and carts that will almost certainly deliver ahead of schedule. That's good to know. So you have this cool 3D. Yeah. Uh, you know, 3D. Tree chunks for up to four players. Okay. Right. 38 goals. Okay. You got the branches. So I guess you're sticking so branches put, like, into certain like, types these. of people onto the thing based on your goals, maybe. <laughs> This one's not doing new, new as well as I thought. I agree. It it the now it's got twelve grand of its ten thousand. Oh, I mean, it's made a thing, but I'm like astonishingly low considering how popular like, the Kodama and everything is. It's Guan Shai. It's got a twenty five dollar um, pledge level. It's not bad. I mean, it's kind I'm of bizarre. a little surprised it's doing. Is this one that's just sort of like fallen, like you know, gotten cast, fallen in the shadow of others? Maybe it's possible. Is it like maybe people are thinking it's too? I'm seeing it like this video right here. There's a kid. Like, it, do people think it's too? Too much of a kids game? I don't know. Bebo, little Bebo. And is it, is it a dexterity like game where it's hard, like it's about like actually balancing it, or is it just three D, and but it's the same kind of mechanics as building out the tree as a tableau of cards? I wonder. I don't really know. And here's the thing: indie boards and cards is now with um, Stronghold, Stronghold right? so that means they don't tell you how to play the game. They just put up videos about how to play the game and don't actually tell you how to play it. Stronghold, any boards and cards, stop being terrible at what you do. 
this is ridiculous. Crystal Paisan's talking about favorite artist. Got Marie, I know not how to say, like Cardo, Cardo, I'm gonna go with Cardo. 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 Best Sobel, great. Best Sobel's great. Best Sobel's climbing the ranks. Best Sobel, I think, is the hottest in the biz right now. In She's terms got of, that, uh, I of know. ascension. Climbing the ranks, yeah. it's like if you hear Best Sobel, people are gonna be like, what's going on? Yeah. She's got the hotness right now, and uh, damn right, as she should. Yeah. So I don't know how this game plays because uh, they won't tell us. They want us to watch videos, and we're not going to. Give, you again, put the things in the give machine. Us build the tree. a paragraph Just on how the game the plays. So, too bad. Uh, Ross is asking, can he be our third brother? You have to be our fourth I'll brother. Send, yeah, we already have a third. <laughs> we got a third uh, one already. Um, but you could be the fourth. You got to send us a, a resume. In the I'll rankings, as usual, because it's kind of a wolf pack, and you find the alpha and the beta and stuff. You will come in at the very bottom. Yes. Um, Rosie's yeah. the alpha. And then... Well, the... Rosie's not a brother, though. It doesn't matter. We're talking about it siblings in general? never stopped her. That's it true. It never stopped that her. Is Don't true. you dare assume she's she the alpha. be the alpha. Oh, no, she is. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying specifically for no, brothers. she's the alpha of the brothers. She's That's the alpha. Chaz is the best of us. So yeah. the thing is, the best you can be is three. He's trying to keep it all together. Yeah, the best you could be is third. Yeah. But that's fine, because then we'd be fourth and fifth, which totally oh, counts. Yeah. Um... Oh, Marie Dorquan uh, is famous for stuff like Dixit. Oh, And then we held hands. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. RTFM said, don't be hating the tutorial videos, bro. So, no, no, no. I hate I'm, them. No, 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 no. RTFM, baby. They're the dumbest. First of all, the, I love you. They're the worst ways to learn RTFM. games. Don't anyone go follow. Hey, go follow RTFM show if you haven't already. Uh, Shea it's Bay. so easy because we're on. Shea Butter right there uh, is the best in the biz. Ever. And again, I tutorial love tutorial videos. videos, but give me at least a paragraph on how the game is played. And Stronghold Games, and it looks like now any boards and cards, every single time goes, you want to learn more about the game? Visit our page on BGG. No, you put it here. Put the work in. Copy and paste it from BGG. Yeah. I don't care, but I'm not going to a different site. Like, yeah. I hate that. I do it every single time. I'm not going to rant about it because I rant about this literally every single time. we do. We, I find a, it's an ongoing problem. a Kickstarter from um, Stronghold Games, so I'm just going to stop. Next thing we have is Dimaka. But uh, real quick, uh, Emilio said, do you know if our match is going to Kickstarter? I need that art in my household ASAP. It is not. No, it's not. It is not going to be on Kickstarter. It is um, not. It'll be out of Gen Con. be out of Gen Con. Just going, going straight to uh, retail, man. Yeah, the, the next Kickstarter is Return to Dark Tower. Yeah! Which I uh, learned a decent amount about while at uh, Origins. I, I, they were trying to get me into a play you? test but I was busy. Slanderous whore. What? What? You didn't tell me. You I totally forgot until this moment. I totally forgot. Whore. I'll tell you about it afterwards. It's and I'm sure Jess will tell you. So they're I, they're they're planning on having demos of that at Gen Con. Now this might be very early on. Now I don't know I'm where sure. they're at, but they're planning on that. And I'm going to hit up JJ and be like, bring that to our game night. Oh yeah. Get some get some play testing in there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, um but I, I, Shea Bone is the bomb. Uh, Cheer hundred. Angry Nick is fun. Nick. Angry Nick is fun, Nick. Angry yeah. Nick's a good time. He's a fun hang. Yeah. You know? I don't get angry very often. Well, um, I don't. <laughs> I get irritated <laughs> at this. Yeah. No, and your your um, frustration is well-placed, I think. It's like, we're here to learn about a game, and if I can't learn about the game, why am I here? Die Macher, Karl Heinz Schmeil. Schnell. Um... All right, so they're redoing this one. First game, yeah, I've, yeah, like I've heard of this. Democker, yeah, that's a pretty Democker, and uh, isn't Democker like, um, isn't it what's it called? Am I thinking wrong? It's something else like based off this, basically. Yeah, I thought it was like Karuba or so it was based off Democker. So am I thinking of something else? Well, so hold the whole. Like, do you put something into a box thing? I'm like, I'm confused. It's a truly unique game. This is a new edition, uh, modern update. For both longtime fans and brand new players, all improvements have been designed to the original author. Okay, it's a very exciting game that advances three to five players through four German federal state elections. Wow, fun. For players who want to dive even deeper into election campaigns, Don't. there's an expanded game which covers seven election cycles. Uh, okay. No, that, this is not what I'm thinking of. <laughs> it's another game like Karuba. <laughs> and or... the author is like, it's basically Karuba. And you're like, how? <laughs> now, there's another game, uh, Diamant is... Karuba. Uh, yes. Diamant, I think. I think that's the one that's Karuba. Copy that. Uh, not Democker. Democker is slightly uh, different. Here's the thing. So what do we think, fam, on this? We're just we're kind of scrolling through this theme. Quickly. I can't even a theme that's more boring than I, this. I've heard know. great things about I this can't, game. I can't imagine a more tiring theme, given the world. And I mean all over the place. Not just how we're doing it here, but all over the yeah. place. I'm like, you want to simulate an election? I'm like, no. no. My life is terrible enough dealing with real elections that are 
played more and more like pretend fake silly elections. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I just can't. Yeah. I got no energy for this. Uh, I've heard the game is great. I'd love to it play it is. if it came across it. like how oh, much is this one back for? Yeah, it's doing great. Um, seventy bucks. For yeah, the I sure is. I sure is hell and not paying seventy bucks to do something that I'm already like just super not. Yeah, it's it's just because whether you're you're down with what's happening in elections or not, it's just exhausting, and it's like ooh. Yeah, Dave Battle Creek, won a kind of agree. Restoration game, game, and, and a contest and game all night. What game did you get? I love David Chris Phillips. Whitman. I got to hang a, out with him a, a little man. bit. In, oh, yeah, he's at Origins? Uh, yeah, nice. so good to see him. I love his beautiful that's face. A good dude. All right, next one is going to be Crypt. Cryptex, I'm guessing. Cryptex. Crypt. A, a narrative puzzle game. A missing archaeologist, an ancient tomb, a curious notebook. Can you uncover the secrets hidden deep within Cryptic. Cryptex? Probably not. Already beat its goal. Doubled it. Um, German election is more civilized. I'm sure, but it's still just exhausting. I just can't think of a theme that I could care less about than an election. Just sounds like I, that's, you know, ugh. just fifty-one puzzles. Meet a difficulty seven to ten hours. I'm guessing that's total, not per puzzle. That would be very intense. So decipher tons of strange notes and objects. Unlock a powerful narrative threaded through every puzzle. Mm. Crack each layer to progress to the next level. Can you uncover the secrets hidden deep within X? Um, so it contains 51 beautifully illustrated puzzle cards in addition to a wide range of unusual items found within the missing professor's mysterious file. Very cool. I like these little puzzle games. All right. So we got some puzzle-y stuffs. Cool. Rest this journal. looks cool. Ooh, cool. Is this like you find these symbols, you have to go find out what they mean or something? That's, That's cool. really cool. Like learn how to do hieroglyphs and stuff type thing. Indeed. Um... I'm loving this so far. It seems. I like fun. the look of it. I like the thing. Like it could be like silly and cheesy, but it like is just right on the line of. I'd still be super interested about it, you know. Okay. Okay. So you open up. You choose a puzzle. Choose a puzzle. Attempt, Attempt to, to crack, crack that it. mug. Looks like you use a, a a device, a mobile device to. At least a very at least good hints. Okay. Cut more so your hands on the app. Unlock more of the store. So it's like an unlock game, but it's I like the look of this one more. I like that it just feels yeah, like yeah, it's kind of good like a you found something in the dirt somewhere and you're trying yeah. to figure out what it is, you know? Yeah, a little bit Indian. You can puzzle. So solve the puzzle creator. You'll need to spot patterns, crack ciphers, and use the myriad items of found within in the professor's file. You might also need to cut and fold and grit creative to find a solution. Ooh, cool. that's interesting. Below are a couple of examples of the type of puzzles you can expect from Cryptex. Okay, puzzle one. Special effect puzzles. Cool. Puzzle oh, two. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Do that again. Okay. <laughs> they hit it with like the, the black light type thing. Weird. Bound. Cool. Cool. Ciphers. Ciphers and Very stuff. cool. This is neat, man. I mean, like, I'm definitely intrigued. What's the, what's the price point on price this? Price point on this. Uh, not the most accomplished academic special to discover. That looks like. I don't know deluxe is. map and stuff. So maybe, this is everything the deluxe stuff. Yeah, it's it was thirty-seven poons, 50, fifty bucks. All uh, right, that's not bad. For fifty this. bucks, American. Um, and Zeminus, like it says, yeah, I think you can only play it once. It yeah, looks like, but it's over many different puzzles, and so it's about oh, it seems like seven to ten hours of play, maybe. But yeah, you that's had a group fine. And you said kind of bang through it. Like I'm into that. Sounds great. Yeah. Um, are you guys fan of the exit games? Don't think I've ever heard to talk about them in the past. I've never played an exit game. I've only ever played one unlock game. I really liked it. We have a couple of unlock games, and we're like, we're going to get this game now. We're going to play it, and it just has never happened. We have unlock games? Oh, we do. Yeah, we bought Yeah. I forgot we bought And, um... Oh, here. Food it, it, which is weird, because I, I really like liked them, and it just hasn't really happened quite yet, and I, I, I don't have a good reason for why it hasn't. It just seems like it's a been a hard one to have have happen come to this i like the idea of unlock puzzles i don't particularly enjoy them because i'm not good at riddles and i'm not very good at those kind of puzzles and they make me feel really stupid um to be completely honest they make me feel dumb and i don't like feeling dumb and, yeah, and because i just fair. i feel like i have no I have like no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I have nothing to contribute. And I feel really stupid. And it like, hurts my feelings. And so, like, I don't like them. For some reason, I'm not huge on escape rooms because I feel like I'm just not doing anything. Like, I'm the guy... Like, I did an escape room on a date once, which is a bad idea. It went fine. But, like, just in general, don't do an escape room on a first date. You're going to be locked in here with Yeah, me, and we man. did one that was, like, for, like, four people. So it was tiny. Uh, but there was at one point this door on the bottom, like, opened up. And there was, like, this little cart you could get on. And then it just, like, went deep into it. 
And I'm like the kind of guy who's like, I'll go in. That's what I'm good at. Yeah. Like, I'm the guy who's like, someone just put their hand in here. So I'm like, like, I'll do it. That's are you what into I'm like good escape at. rooms? Because that one's fun to me. Well, see, I like the idea of escape rooms, but they still make me feel stupid because I feel like I'm not contributing to the puzzle nature of it. But again, I'm the kind of guy who like goes down the dark shaft. Like, I'll do that stuff because mm. like I'll, I'm just dumb enough to do it. So like, hmm. it's one of those things where like, I can contribute in that in like an unlock game. I feel like I can't contribute at all. Yeah. So I, but even then, I'm not a huge fan of either of them. But I can get behind an escape room more because there's almost always something like put your hand in here, and I'm like, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, it's I'm dumb experience. enough to do that. I've only kind done of stuff, one, but yeah. I really want to do more. There's one right down here actually. And I kind of want to do it. Um, let's see. So the Paisan says unlock games are fun. Exit games are generally better though. I love the exit games. Um. Uh, Shay says every unlock game I've played had at least one moment where left is going oh come on I've heard that before and like the one time we played it at one point we got stuck and then we had to like look up something yeah and like it's like yeah you don't want to you don't want to it's a tricky thing because you don't want it to be too easy because there needs to be the tension there but if it's something you're like well how was I supposed to know that then totally. like, that's not good I've heard better things about exit games and the only reason I've only bought one unlock game but the only reason I think about, thought about it is because, like, well, you could replay Unlock or you could get it to friends, whereas exit games go away. But now yeah. I'm like, but it seems like exit games are better, and, like, who cares if it goes away? And they're not expensive anyway. Yet a so night of like, fun for 15, 15 bucks for yeah, four people. Totally, That's totally. a great value. So, All right, so here we have over that. Super Fantasy Brawl. Fantasy Brawl. Um, champions battle for supremacy in this fantasy arena combat game. Fast setup, fast play, traps, tactics, cunning combo. <gasps> it's crushing. Bit. Doing a bit, just a bit of crushing. Um, so the base for this one is 50, it looks like. Okay. The rules up top, very Fantasy cool. Brawl. Fantasy. So, um... Retail price is going to be 110 so if you're going to get it, get it now. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Where's this hit at? Right there. Oh, my gosh. How is it even pot? Whatever. That's very odd. That's some, um, that's some, that's some weak sauce Kickstarter tactics in my, for my yeah. money. Better get a nail for me twice as much. Piss that's off. That's a lot more. If it's like 10, 15 bucks more, fine. But like that's double the price. Yeah. So 34 minutes, two to four players, no dice. It's got a cool look to it. Um, okay. so just what's like... in the box? Got some fancy minis. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the minis look good. Plays on an ostrich. I like that. Um, it's good. Okay. I mean, the minis look fine. Got mm -hmm. a bunch of uh, 12 champions decks. Okay. I mean, they're very cool. This, this, the art style in this kind of reminds me of Millennium Blades in a way. Not doesn't look like it, but yeah. just kind of the way. So you got the Marine Game Board. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do? What do we do? And then this guy. Is he like the judge? Is he? Where are his legs? Because this is like a pedestal. I, don't I think it's a short squat man in a dress. Ooh, game trays. That'll make it sell $100,000 right there. <laughs> um, Okay. Okay, I don't care about the miniature scale. I don't care about any of this. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, how to play the game. Nick, it doesn't have dice. What more do you need? So you choose your, your champions, draft a, a synergistic team of champions from That's across cool. time to fight for your glory in the arena with hundreds of possible teams. Which combinations will you try and which unique strategies will you find? That's very cool looking. Definitely dig that. So you have, okay, that's interesting. So you just get three champs, it looks like. Um, each turn will take three actions, exhausting your link to the core's creation, destruction, manipulation to play cards from your hand and activate your champions. Uh, okay. And then you win the favor of the crowds. I like that idea. Um, you're scoring challenges, which I guess is the, the crowd and stuff like that. Very mm. cool. And then you level up. Ooh, it's very good. Kilgore. Kilgore. Okay. My, ooh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Look at that with the budget. Okay. Okay. All right, bro. All right. Gift came on point day. Slapped. Get slapped. Okay. And then push and pull enemies. Okay. Throw them around. Watch out for traps. Okay. Watch out cool. for treeps. Looks fun. This is a game like I would never back myself, but yeah, like I'd be like super down if someone else got it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. I like that he's very square. Um, very cool. This looks fun. Ooh, and they even had the painted. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. This is like they're like doing like a kick. Uh, cool mini or not when they got painted. I love when they have the minis painted. I don't understand like it's a a step they have to take to pay someone, but man, it does. It's nice. It helps sell those minis. Man, look at those are like nice. Although actually, these small squad ones are almost too convoluted it's hard to tell where his face is that's true these ones are better but uh dwarves are harder we like the tiger man tiger man all right cool i'm down big ass cat and i don't know why Ostrich. that's pretty cool 
Um, all right, cool. I'm down. Looks cool. I was everyone thinking about this one? Um, very, very oh, yeah. cool. Dwellings of Eldervale. Not Everdell. They should have chosen a different name because that is... Oh, this is a breaking games game. Now it makes sense, the aesthetic. I'm like, this is super familiar because it, it looks, looks like Rise of Tribes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it looks it like be in the same Tribes. world or something. I can't believe they plan to charge 110. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit... I don't get that at That's all. a bit much. So Dwellings of Eldervale. I'm going to say Everdell. I'm sorry. An epic worker placement fantasy game designed by Luke Laurie. Fight the beasts. Dwell the land. Claim the magic. Cool. If someone's playing this at a, when we went to Dragon of Evil. This one? Yeah. How do they already have it? I think it was someone from Breaking Games. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, okay. So giant elemental monsters roam while dragons, wizards, and warriors battle for dominance over eight elemental realms. Players control unique factions seeking to adventure, battle, and grow in power, and ultimately dwell in Elder Vale. One to five players, 14, 60 to 90 minutes. It's going to have minis, work and placement, tableau, building, variable player powers, modular board, area control, custom meeples. Interesting. A lot, of, a lot of stuff I'm into. Ooh, Tom Vassell. Dwellings has a lot of great mechanisms in it with cool work and placement and blah, blah, blah. I got to control a giant monster. This is the most Tom quote I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. He's like, <laughs> uh, Blaine said, tempt about this one, but holding off. Uh, this is super early day. Yeah, Missy, because they got people coming over, so we had to do it a little early. We have a we have a, a housewarming party, and then we have to plan for this trip to Florida. Yeah, gotta pack. We, At some point, I, gotta, I, pa I, I packed. Gotta, Luckily, I had to come here, so I had to it. pack already. But Mike's got to pack. I haven't thought about it. What's up? Uh, what's up, Dearth? Because I, I always Mike. feel like I say your name wrong, so I'm just gonna call you Dearth. <laughs> Padraic Kashin. Kashin. That's a pretty dope name, actually. Um. Okay, so all editions include eight sets of player wooden components. Okay. Ooh, God, it's so pretty. Eight player boards, 11 factions. Elements, earth, air, water, fire, light, darkness, order, and chaos. Interesting. That's one thing I love about uh, Codex Alaire. There's six, there's six. I love wood metal being elements. It's totally. great. It's so Super good. sick. We got monster cards, 49 magic cards, jumbo starter cards, 72 adventure cards. I mean, um... Elemental Sporting hexes. Unique art on every tile. It is very pretty. Ruin hexes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Then that game definitely, trays? Definitely looks Shoot. rad. Definitely looks great. Every yeah. faction has its own game tray. I mean, more and more games are doing this. Like Dice Throne has that where it's like there's their own. You pull out whichever one you need. It's God, that's nice. smart. I mean, like you fold out your thing. You got your business all right there. It's yeah. a great system. And then all trays are included in all editions. That's very, very cool. I'm guessing that means they're going to have. Oh, man, this is so. Yeah. Game Trace is crushing, and they deserve it. Two Dungeon Traces hold all the treasure tokens and adventure cards you will use in a game. Very cool. Got a... Ooh, the, the ghosts, ghosts of Everdale. This is Everdale. Elder Vale. Um, I don't struggle as much as other people. I don't know. I, it's just because there's an E... Dwellings of Elder Vale. Oh, uh, no. Everdale. Um, this is looking pretty darn good. Let's get, let's get into a little gameplay. Here's a series of animated GIFs highlighting the unique mechanisms. Worker placement. Put your book down there. Put your book down. Okay. Tableau, tableau engine. engine or retrieve your units to activate your tableau adventure cards very cool love game trays yeah frost fire so what's you can up put workers out or retrieve them to do stuff okay wow summon special units like dragons wizards warriors with special abilities cool dwell in elder vale uh gain Whoa. points now and later Tinky. oh my gosh they go on top they of become them? a house oh that's fun Clamber. That's a cheeky one, huh? That's a cool move. That's a cheeky one there. <laughs> uh, battle players, uh, so you're doing a little air control. And then monsters or battle giant beasts roaming Eldervale. Use my yik. My yik. Eight I elemental know. powers. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, cool. You can go guy. up the different tracks. Hmm? It's cool you can do the yeah. like, different tracks. Kind of makes me feel this. I'm sure it plays nothing like it, but it reminds me of uh, um, Archmage. Oh, now oh, they got you on that now? Yeah, no, I was just like, you no. know what? I, I, if no. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No. I met I met uh, Tim, though. I met him. He was very nice. Did he say it's Archmage? No, he did not. There, you know, that's, what, that's what got me about that comment. It's like, you know who's never mentioned it? It's the people who make that game. Never, never mentioned it. We got a comment. I just had to. I was like, I can't. I can't. Not today after all the unsubs this week. So I'm just like, it's Archmage, not Archmage. I said like, what? Video's invalid. Pull it. Pull it down. <laughs> Uh, very All the cool. info you got yeah. is useless. 
It's Archmage. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's whatever. Pardon These me. are very cool to game trace. I, this looks great. Not gonna, what's what's the base on this one? We're looking at 70 bucks. It's not bad for the kind of game it is. No, that's a, for for the art, for the look. Like, like these the, types of games are never going to be 40 bucks. No. 70 so seems standard, easy. Standard. Uh, deluxe is 100 what is this? So you get Fears and Bees miniatures, games that's all the same, deluxe stretch goals, standard stretch goals. Okay, so standard and deluxe stretch goals. I'm not a huge fan of those, honestly. Which ones? Where you have deluxe and standard stretch goals, so you only get these stretch goals if you have get the deluxe version. Yeah, it's kind of weak. It's kind of like... Like, okay, some people can't afford the deluxe edition, and now there's like additional like punishments for yeah. not having the money. You're like, come on, man. Like, eh. Yeah. I think um, you should just make, make your game deluxified and charge a little more and just like, but make it really good and don't punish people for not having as much money. Yeah. We... What's up, B? Whoop! <laughs> um, Mr. Morrow said, Ch make sure to check out Tasty Humans and this game is a disaster. Okay, we will we will definitely try. Um, and he said, happened to check my phone and saw the post on Twitter about the stream. I just had to be painting minis, but glad we'll jump in and catch some. Well, hey. hi, Dragon. Yeah, me, you can multitask. Um, Paint away. So game changers must be rolling in. There's so many Kickstarters now. Yeah, you're yeah. probably not wrong, and good for them. Because, I mean, here's They're the thing. They're all over the place. You put game trays in a game, it's 50 people grand. Excited. Yeah. It's 50 grand to your campaign. Yeah. It really is. I mean, yeah. like, people will, people go nuts over game trays. And it's like, if they're used like that, where it's like you just grab whatever one you want, like, people are like, oh my gosh, it's so much less setup time. It probably isn't that much less setup time, but it's just, it's convenient. Like, we it's love super, convenience. It's easy. It makes life easy. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm all about it. Yeah. Like, let's do it. It makes life easy. Okay. So we got. We well, got yeah, I was looking at this one the couple, other day. A couple accessories going. The Isle of the Cats. Isle of Cats. Gotta I'll be after that. Okay, we're going to look at. Isle of Cats. Uh, we don't have our down camera on, but Game Toppers is who sponsors our channel. Listen our here, you bet. Berkey's a good guy. And even though we're not playing a board game, we're sitting at the Game Topper table now. We are sitting at This is a Game Topper. You can see the little rail right here. Yes, Game Topper is outstanding. Berkey is incredible. Incredible to us and just incredible yep. in general. They're nice. doing great. Sweet, sweet 230. Man. Damn. Awesome. They're trying to get to a million this year. Arr. Let's keep pushing it. Um, that's how I feel too. If you have the money, you can buy the cool stuff. Just make it available to everyone. I agree. I don't mind them having a deluxe version of the game. Like, sure, that's fine. Like, have a deluxe version of the have, game. Have, like, but standard... have all the stretch goals for everyone. It was like the new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that came out, and literally all the stretch goals were only if you had gotten, like, yeah. the giant thing. Yeah, and I was like, I will that. never back one of your Kickstarters. That. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I think there's a right way to go about it. Because not everyone cares about, like, the upgraded components and stuff. It's no, like, I, okay, so I, I personally option, don't really or care. Or just make, like, a nice thing but keep it affordable. Yeah, like, yeah I don't know. It's just, yeah. So we got Game Toppers. Game Toppers, upgrade your game experience. Go to Game Toppers LC. Yeah. Bam. Um, this map, by the way, is yeah. the most gorgeous map. table. It goes like... Blah, 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 blah. It's super cool. That's like a Viking table. So yes, yeah, so they work with Dogmite Games to do these these rails. And these this looks nice in person. These, the cutout ones are... It's not like are, grandpa, you know? Like oh, old, like dude, Norwegian like, stuff. Yeah, it's... This right here so stopped sick. me in my tracks. Because he had told us about these. Yeah. And like, I oh, see it. I was like, oh, that's Lord. super dope. Like, a, <laughs> like, we can't afford that, but that's super rad. Um, yeah, so there's like a whole Viking table that has these, the special rails, and then it has its own cool, like, mm -hmm. super vibrant, um, the, the game, the mat. Yeah, it's mat. Super cool. And B would say, I'm thinking about getting a mat. And yeah, honestly, a lot of people just, just back it yeah. for the math, which is totally fair. Uh, yeah. not only a game topper, a stream topper. And, uh, Chris Barzon said the hubs and I are redoing our downstairs in the next couple months. I really want a dang game topper. I just don't know what table to go on yet. Put it on a plastic table from Costco until you get a different table. Like yeah. honestly, it totally works on This table right here that we're on it's is wobble, 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 the wobble, side wobble, of a desk right. with some legs screwed to it. Yeah. And That's it's fine. janky, but it still does well. The game topper is not the issue here. It's the the weak ass table underneath. Um, Jackie said, I would, I would love one of these toppers. Sad that I need the homes. I can't let go of that much cash. That sucks. Yeah. I mean, even then they're still, you know, they're not cheap. No, it's not cheap. And like someone I was, I think we were streaming the other night, talked about this. They said like, look, even like a cheaper, smaller, I know, dude, even little, like, look at his little face, you know, the, the, the smaller tables that are more affordable, it's still it's a know, luxury four item. or 500 bucks. It's like, I could rather get 500 bucks worth of games. I'm like, I totally yeah. get that. It's a luxury item that no one needs to play games. But if you yeah. really do, that's why I like their whole thing of saying like it upgrades your game experience. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily make it. No, it's going no. To, if you want to go next level and have a really nice thing and don't have 
three grand, here's a great option. Yeah, and like totally. I think that's why people like uh, game toppers is because it makes it more accessible yeah. for folks that don't have it like yeah. like that. Barking. Barking. Plus Barking's just a nice ass He's dude. He's just the nicest. The nicest dude. Um yeah, so they have like they have like the redwood one here, and That's it's like, so like a cool. dragon, dragon inside, and then the kind of Viking. The one. Viking with that mat is like the sickest. It's thing. so the red one was poor. So the different mats. So these are the ones they've already had. The crimson red's like the classic. The, so the, we use that one a lot. I like this one. Hello. The adventure mat is their best seller, and this is probably my favorite mat for whatever reason. On our our we have China cameras, on the Logitech though. We haven't checked on the Logitech. On our old camera pointing down, real it, yellow. it does not look good. And it sucks because it's like, man, it's my favorite mat. Yeah. Um, we have the space badass. ones. Clutch. Space we got some dope. secret cabal mats now, which are great. I think it's red and blue, I think. Don't quote me on there, that. I'm pretty sure there's a blue. The, I like the, the Viking. Viking the Viper. This is the one, dude. I tell you, it is. It's so dope. So gorgeous. I like how this it's one. deep and dark. And the blue so gets in the vibrant. middle. Yeah, I was like, uh, I love the scythe one or, or the scythe one because it's not an official scythe one, but they they have gotten permission from James Stegmaier. Um, the Ryan Lockett one is great, Beautiful. and all these mats, Berkey is very smart in the way he wants them. Where they have stuff on the outside, but the middle of the table is always pretty empty. Yeah, just to not get not in the way to, of yeah, understanding what's the going way. on in the game game. And, and that's really smart. Yeah, so the Blue Secret Cabal, the Fantasy Map. I don't even know what this one is, honestly. Coming soon. The Terrain Hex, you can just play like big war games just on the mat. I mean, it's just... Yeah, the mats are like one of the best things you could grab. It's just like yeah. get a mat. And all these are great. UCS use them all the time. Mm -hmm. This one right here. It's holding up my damned empty mug. Boom, so easy. The yeah. Ryan Lockett one is... Yeah, Ooh. it is super pretty. Yeah, accessory rail. We have an accessory rail on this because this table is yeah. usually twice this size. And dude, it's been the bomb having that thing. It's been nice. And um, then the the move around. They got. Uh, let's get down to this. Oh, this one's interesting. You can just make your thing twenty four inches longer. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's so we, cool. We've talked to Berkey about, and and he's all about it. He always wants to find ways to push what they have and like make it more useful, more interesting, more just helpful. And so, like, I like the idea of a leaf extension. Like, so maybe this table we're on right now. We don't need the Mycroft. We don't need the humongous guy all the time. It's like, maybe it'd be great if we had two more feet. Now, like, they feel a lot about that. He's like, I'll make an extender, and we can do this and this. I'm yeah. like, he's just always trying to think of how to up this game and make it better, which is rad. Like, yeah. That's why I just appreciate what he does. Like, we were fans of his before we ever got into bed with him. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, we were. We were big fans of his, and we just happened to, you know, he offered to, to sponsor our channel, and it was mm -hmm. great. Um, try to think if there's anything. I really want to show the... Uh, yeah, so this thing I've seen this in real life. This is like oh, their, this is like like their DM, DM thing. thing. That's it's sick. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Yeah. No, you could kill someone with it. It's so heavy. It's Holy like, shit! Look at this man. I wish I had a big know, picture dude. of this one because he was like a there's like a little dog. He's like a little fisherman right yeah. here, and it's just like it's, it's so. Cool. Oh, he's yeah. slightly bigger. Oh, he's not like right oh, there. Look at look at the colors in this. Yeah, it looks like like a little bianthan thing. Yeah, like down here, it's like this beautiful like ice blue. And it's That's just, so this is the guy who did like man. Reavers of Midgard and stuff like we that. We might need to it's like, just, oh. hit that Birkin toot about. We'll yeah, this is I'm more, at. this is like the crazy Dead. dragon one, which is, oof. So this bad. one you have now poured ones for your mats, which is nice, but yeah. there's one that I, we I, if we can afford it, this is guy, this yeah. right here. Because the problem is at this point, we have like six mats. Yeah, and it's like, where do we put them when we're not using them? Because we can only use one at a time. We could stack a couple. Like 40 but... bucks? That's really not bad. Yeah, because I mean, I can hold up, what, two, 12 different mats? <laughs> yeah, at this point, put we... them in a corner somewhere. It's... Well, yeah, we can put them like right over there, but just, yeah. just because we kind of have them all rolled up and just kind of like thrown behind a couch, and it's like yeah. not the best thing for them. This also one. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, wait, what? What? How is. Why is this one so much cheaper? I'm confused. What? Mini mat rack? Oh, this is probably for if you oh, have can small the other one mats. hold like the big ones? Yeah, this probably holds the, the big, big hosses. Okay, okay cool, 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 cool. We only need That's the main one anyway. And then here, <laughs> here's the... Uh, I love the meatballs and stuff. It's great though. But then you have the scythe map, which is... Again, cool. done by the same that guy to the, the Viking map. I mean, it's just so cool. That's great. Ugh. Badass, man. And the Ryan Lockett. Look at that. God, that's pretty. Hawks is, I'm definitely getting the Ryan Lockett one. It's uber pretty. Yeah, yeah. it's so... I mean, look I at that. I love just the colors, man. Like, the color choices there. The greens into the faded blues. And again, it's, it's, it's very it's Ryan big Lockett open middle, and it's like, yeah. yeah. It's I mean, like, it is gorgeous, just... man. It's just literally art. Just art for your room. Yeah. Because the cool thing is, is like, the thing I like about that, or the big Viking map, is like, you just open the door to your studio, and people are like, passing by, and they stop, and they're like, whoa. And they're immediately pulled in, just based off of... 
Yeah. Like the table. Yeah. Like, that's inviting, man. That's what you hope for. Uh, no, all this is garbage, 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 garbage. Perfect review. Hey, perfect, perfect review. review. Look at that guy. Garbage. Perfect. Yeah. Garbage. Perfect. Who are these other people? No one knows them. He is a good guy. This is a good review. This I'm guy, proud of that review. It's a good review. I love Chaz. So Chaz, Chaz gets a pass. Chaz gets we a pass. We watch his after hours. All right. That's that's it. Um, that's game toppers, man. Yeah. I mean, it's... B Whoop says, I'm torn between the Locket and the Viking ones. Yeah. I don't know. I Vikings might win out. Viking for me is all day. I mean, so cool. you see in person, it is the so most, cool. it's the most gorgeous mat I've ever seen. Yeah. The Locket one, though, is... Yeah. Basically, can you only get one mat? It's hard to choose. Yeah. I know. Well, Battle Creek said back game topics the other day. It was kind of sad. Uh, my table is too big for the Viking or the Dragon, but the uh-huh. Minecraft is still awesome. Yeah. 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 Tell them, game, tell them brothers more upset you. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is um, the board game bag and board game calendar. The cool thing is, like, you know, so a couple of buddies, the Ventura folks, were talking about this game, or this uh, bag, because it's a lot more affordable than a lot of game bags are out there, which is okay. nice. Um, I will say the BoardGameDeals.com, whatever, they have like a bag, and they were mm-hmm. selling it for like 20 bucks That's at, nice. at, uh, at Origins. And oh, they yeah. had stacks. And after the first day, I swear to God, at least half the people walking around the con had one of those things on their That's back. That's the smartest thing like, you could do as a company to yeah. raise awareness is like sling them for stupid cheap and then all yep. week long, dip, 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 walking yep. around. And what do you think? It's like, whoa, what bag is that? Yeah. Who are they? It's genius. <laughs> so is this board game deal? I know it's not. Mm-hmm. Who did this one? I'm trying to see. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh, it must be. Or is this... They just compare. Boardgametables.com. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. So it is. Yeah. So this must be the one they're slanging then. Yeah. Because yeah, it was super cheap. So scroll up a little. So 42 bucks, 29 So the Oxford Gray Bag is 30 bucks. Which is kind of... It's almost like a gym bag. Yeah. But it holds like a decent amount. So it's like really affordable. Because like a lot of those... The one like our Dice Tower Bag and stuff, which is like the... The Cadillac of those is like crazy expensive. Yeah. And I'm crazy like, come expensive. on, dude, it holds games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get 12 Oxford Grey bags for 319 bucks. Think All about right. that. That's two Christmases of your board game friends. This is smart. You can bucks. put on top of your carry That's genius, actually. That's, That's not a really bad smart. idea. Yeah. Learn from previous versions. Not upright. Go down low like So that. I think they were someone selling the old versions because the old ones are upright. The ones that are selling, so they must have been, getting, must have been offloading, which again is not a bad idea. So they increase the weight limit in these ones. They can hold heavier stuff. Okay. Wow. They wow. get a lot in there. They get wow. a lot in there. Jesus. Cool. I like the heather. 30 I like bucks, blue. man. Blue. I know. Nice. The 30 bucks. We always get Scott King's board game calendar. We're the same way. We missed it this last year, but I want to get it again this year because I really love Scott King's calendar. This is nice, but Scott King's is so freaking pretty. Yeah. Um weird well that's cool like little board game right. like challenges for yourself like a little um little make thing. sure to check out make sure to check out the new roleplay expansion we will we're gonna have to we're gonna actually no we're doing we are again we're skipping a lot of stuff because we don't have too much time but um yeah, we're doing good uh so we will be checking out the new roleplay expansion i got to see it in person or at least the prototype and it was it was great Love beans it. and familiars yeah yeah um Rosie's here. So, Rosie, did I figure it out? Am I in the chat? Hello, my dudes. What's the scale of it? Hi, Rosie. Hey, That's our sister, Rosie, if you don't know. Hey, freak out. <laughs> freak out. So, Chad, the guy who runs the BoardGameTables.com, is such a good dude. I used to do some freelance writing for him. He also uh, been publishing game on tour, Bytes. Yeah, on tour is great. Bytes is great. Yeah, BoardGameTables.com is, they're doing good. They're doing real doing, good. They're doing the damn thing. The Isle of Cats. Yeah. Rescue as many cats as you can before Vesh arrives in this one to four player six with expansion card drafting and cat placement board game. Cat placement game. Whoever thought we'd live in a world where we see cat placement as a mechanic. It's a gamer's game by heart. It's the best Tetris polyominal game on the market. Ooh, here. big words, Rado. Whoa, big whoa, words. whoa. How Richard. just came out? You're already talking smack? Rich. So it's a competitive medium weight card drafting polyominal cat placement board game for one of four players. Uh, it supports solo and family play while offering a challenge to the most experienced game. Look at the cats, man. Look at the cats. They're polyominals because they're stretched out and whatnot. It makes sense. This actually is one of the most <sighs> makes makes oh. sense for polyominal tiles is cats. It's like, <laughs> it does look good. They're you got to fit them onto a ship. 
hilarious. Right. Look at you're that. You're sitting on squalls and a rescue mission. Oh, oh, I see. I not understand. Yeah, you gotta um, stow them away on your boat. How many cats do you think realistically you stuff onto an old timey ship? It's like literally so many freaking a cats. A lot. A lot. Yeah. So many damn cats. Hi, Alex. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Kickstarter like hearts on, on on the YouTubes. Um, so you're on the, you're trying to rescue the Isle of Cats. It must rescue as many cats as possible before the evil Lord Besh arrives. Each cat is represented by a unique tile and belongs to a family. You must find a way to make them all fit in your board while keeping your families together. I love it. So the colors and stuff are families. I love it. Hilarious. Uh, you can't place cats. They place themselves. That's accurate. That's true. Ube Cat and Bird. Ooh, love it. Um, I'll be by, I'm backing Isle of Cats. It has been decided. <laughs> this is just like, burp, this guy. Um, um, this is heavier than normally probably own little game. Look at these cats. These That's are pretty sweet. Those are pretty sick. Isn't there another... No, that's it's not. I'm mixing these two. <laughs> what that's so I do this. I love this. Like, that is hilarious. Wow. Look at them little gold covered things and jewels. Okay. I'm down, dude. I'm super down. It looks great. I like polyomal games. We just played Ohio. I love that game. I, I like play that again. Yeah. I'd love to play that too. Four player boats, game. each with a unique layout. Very cool. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, the art's great. I mean, it's, yeah. it's great. Looks great. But it is, what, 50 euros, I think? Is that right? That's not too bad. Nah, it's yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's 50 euros. So it's like 60 bucks. It does seem a lot. It does seem like a lot. I mean, not really. I mean, much so? more, and it'd be, because you have, like, the big cardboard pieces and stuff. Like, if it was, like, just a card game or something, I'd be like, eh, but yeah. it's, like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. Like, there have been more expensive games. Yeah. Than wooden fishies. The, cat, the art on the cats is oh, gorgeous, too. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't want it to be much more, but I'm, like, it would For me, it would depend on how, like, they say, you know, I, I really need to watch, like, a playthrough of it, because I want to see yeah. how, like, how involved and heavy the game is. Because if it's one of the things where, like, the game is bigger than it looks. Sure. You know, because it's like, if it's just, like, laying tiles out and stuff like that, then I'm like, you could have made this, like, patchwork size and made it cheaper, you know, or whatever. Sure. It's like, that's I mean, what it comes in 90 to. minutes. I mean, it's definitely... Yeah, so it, it very much could be. I need. I haven't watched a, a video on it. I need to watch right. a video on it. But, um, yeah, yeah, I love it. It was awesome. Social cat power. One randomly knocks another off the ship. Just... I love it. Um... Okay. Definitely. Definitely intrigued. Mark me intrigued for that one. Yeah, very intrigued. So the Uwe Rosenberg Spring Meadow, etc. are like 60-ish too. Yeah, and I don't buy those games. <laughs> uh, dance card. Dance oh, card, it. dance card. You made it in a new window. I mean, it works. I didn't want to. And then this garbage. Just kidding. Uh, I love that Dance card. I don't know what's going on. Mm. Players take on roles of students at a high school dance in this beautifully illustrated tactile new game. So it's everyone just standing at the side and awkwardly looking at each other. You think, should I dance with her? Should I go grind? Should I do it? So there's a lot to think about, but I need that expansion for five to six players. I'm down. I mean, it's definitely a, a maybe back. Down with this. I don't know what this is. You gotta own the dance floor, Nick. Yeah. All right, you're competing to be the first to dance with each partner listed on their dance card, which represents a unique student, that student's friends, rival, and three potential dance partners. Ooh. You're going to dance with Mitch again? Damn it. Is it Theo? Uh, yeah. Oh, Theo. Love it. Dude, Love that thumb. That's a great, that's that's a great, great thumb. thumbnail. Yeah, that's crushing that thumbnail great damn game. thumb. So you need uh, approachable gateway into board games while also allowing increased difficulty for experienced gamers to crunch over the bold bibos. It's, I like the I love the look. Yeah, it's kind of neon like dance floor, weird color lights vibe. Okay. Right yeah. on, on. Cool. I'd have to learn uh, more, I think. Spin phase. All right. Action phase. You got to move. You got to dance. You got to chat. Nerve, get get your nerve up. It does seem like it really. It I hope so. Into that's what I, like, I can't do it, man. She's a seven. I'm a three. I can't do it. You know, it's like that's great. All right, I'm it's like down. Cut loose guy, man. It's pretty great. Why not? Yeah, the, the high school dances were never this cool. It's always like in the cafeteria. You know, <laughs> it's like I love it. I love it. Cool. Uh, dance card attempting me so much. It's so inclusive. Yeah. I it mean, really like, is. There's like there's like people in wheelchairs yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, it's you very gotta, cool. You got to love that right there. I mean, that is. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And what's the the back for it? It's 45. It's not bad. It's good. 
It's not bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I don't know if it seems like a game I'm particularly interested in, but I they are doing it all right. Yeah. And great. I'm super down with that. <clears throat> great art, great look. Real inclusive. It looks great. Looks yeah. great. If someone had this and we had a chance to play it, I'd play the oh, butt I, out of I, it. Straight you know up, I mean? right? Like, for sure. Yeah. Play it in a, a hot second. Dance of Sore Island. Mashup game. Uh, yeah. Um... We got a low tantrum count today. We were at zero tantrum house today. I know. Where's tantrum? At? What are they even doing? I don't even know, dude. They're Come on, up. tantrum. Get on it. All right, so the second expansion, Themes and Familiars. So this, I got to look at this at Dance Crush It. Done this wow. thing. I got to look at this with Keith, uh, Keith Matejka. 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 Uh, very nice man, um, and Tim Verning, who works with uh, Thunderworks Games. It, yeah. He was a, a bing bong supreme. Uh, introduced me to Keith and stuff like that, and it was it was very nice to meet him. He, he kind of gave me a quick little elevator pitch of it. Um, yep, yeah, the seals. Did so you give him an elevator pitch on just send it to us. Yeah, I was like, uh, just give it to us right now, please. Thank you. He said, um, yeah. yes, <laughs> role player. Yeah. So in role player and fiends and familiars, players compete to construct the greatest fantasy characters now with the help of familiars and the hindrance of fiends. Interesting. Familiars lend unique powers to their keepers along with new goods in the market, offer hope, but all the while a malicious fiends torment the players with new obstacles. Yeah, so you get this, this goes on the top of your board. So now you have another row That's right. to fill in, but they have something else. So this is like you know, cursed raven. So after placing a die on a cursed raven, you may discard one of your purchased market cards to take any attribute action. That's kind of cool. That's very interesting. cool. Interesting. Because sometimes you're like, I don't care about any of these cards. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh. But the cool thing about these ones is they tend to want low numbers. So this is seven to eight. So you want like a one, one, four. One, one, five, rather. But so this is a cool place to like dump a couple cards. And then you also have color bonuses, too. That you want to do if you can. And then would it slightly extend the game, too? No, it doesn't, because you start the game with more dice. Okay. So, the good thing about this... I'd be down with that if it did. Yeah, that's one thing about, like, Monsters and Minions, and also this, it's like all the things they add on don't extend the game. Right. And so, it's really, really cool. It's an interest within the game itself, yeah. Yeah, they get all new monsters. The Hellhound. You know, a bunch of new monsters. You get a bunch of... uh, just a crazy amount of stuff. I think they're going to have new... Uh, new alignment cards, familiar boards, backstory cards, additional stuff for the yeah, game. Yeah, race so character, great. lizard folk. Oh, lizard demons. Damn it. Um, big crab. All the crab. I don't care. All the crab. That's all I want. Big piss off crab. Piss off. So you get also new monsters for the Monsters that's and Minions cool. expansion. Mm. Uh, you get new classes. So again, you get two more of each or you know one double side of each class. Which is great. A bunch of new minion. You have these dice. These dice... New yeah. custom dice, uh, they split, so range their value of one through four, but they count as two different colors. So uh, it they're super weird, but they, they it's very, very sort cool. of lower value, but they'll help you fill in the yeah. color scheming thing. Exactly. And also exactly. might help you with those feed and familiar cards. Yeah. Really interesting. Super cool. Looks super fun. Ooh, the big box. Ooh. How much is that thing? Is it just the box? Because like that might I get useful. I think it is just the box. Because I think we have everything in one box right now. But if we were to get this, there's no way. Megapede. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's what it is. So you start with less dice, six only. But you have two dice on each draft initiative for part of the game. That's right. Uh, yeah, so for a while you're drafting two dice. Uh-huh. Um, About 15 hours left on it. Dang. Never mind. Well, so wait for it to come out in the store. Yeah. That's great. That looks cool, though. I'm definitely all in on that. Yeah, it seems very, very cool. Roddy! Beautiful, man. Cool. All right, so that is Ronet. that one. Good stuff. Good. And definitely into that. Legends of Nervous is next. Oh, real nervous. Oh. <laughs> oh, someone wanted us. Uh, it's a Tasty Humans. I can't remember who it was, but someone mentioned they want to see that. Tasty it's on our humans. list anyway. Um. Oh, and then, uh, so a tiny game. Ah, excuse me. 18 holes. Nope. Where, where's this garbage tiny game? What? There it is. Tiny game. Um, Millennial Manatees. I don't know what that is. But uh, Blue and His Murder. Oh, we're going to look at it. I'm just so curious. Sea Cows. Actually, we're not, not. I'm not sure. I'm very confused by that. All right. So Legends of Nervous. Oh. Experience a new style of fantasy adventure board gaming for one to four player, one to five players rather. Has hit full goal. of stunning original. What? Yeah, just hit its goal. All right, wow, it's like about a couple hundred bucks. Where is it from? It is from Canada. Canada. 
garbage. So, Alexander, how does it work? Do you just get like a cut of every Canadian Kickstarter? Because probably like, they live in a communist country, right? I think I don't know. Yeah, I, it's I don't all the get same. It. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I think everyone works the, for the government. Or something, yeah. uh, like he works in a government-run butcher shop. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how it works up there. Got stake them. Two games in one box. Well, what? Hey, man. Get out of here. We could hope for that many. Got Mark Street. Beautiful. Love him. The best. Yeah. What's up, JF? How you doing, Burr, man? I can't you about him. I thought you were busy with Vin. Dude, the street? I thought you and Vin and Vinny were busy. Yeah, because there's a picture in someone's thing that I tagged you and I thought I saw Mark Street in the background. Was he at Origins? Yes, he was. Yeah. How's he doing? Been great. He's freaking the best. So yeah. nice as man. Did you get to hang? A little bit, not too much, but a little bit. I guess he doesn't. I'm a little, and I like manatees, but I am not interested in that at all. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's. Um, it's probably just being douchey towards millennials is all it is. But it, I just the, the name cracks me up. You're a millennial manatee, aren't you? And I'm like, I, I okay, know. ooh, so we got a very pretty I'm map. Legend of Novus, hey. So it's been developed for over 15 months with regular playtests and print plays and reviews. This game is nearly ready for production. It's a bit more art created by some of the encounter cards. Okay, cool. Base, we're almost done. All right. Into it. I don't know what you do. Component Vidya. Cool. How to play it. Choose a character. Choose a character. And they're associated to class card. Okay. Get your stuff and get some other stuff. And then also you got to start with a reward card, an adventure card, and 10 gold points. There are gold pieces on it. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, dig. you get equipment cards that may play directly to the character. And then you go on to this quad fold board map thing and you probably start moving around to Sher Skull Rock Island and Silverin and Vase City and stuff. Alright, so your sporting location you're in, traveling, okay, okay, there's an opportunity before an action adventure phase, you can contact characters in various ways, you play this, okay, it's good time to do things. Um, you earn adventure cards and reward cards. You may decide to use or equip these, or you may save them in your hand. Some class abilities require you to discard cards. So deciding how to use your cards will require thought and strategy. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Did y'all do role player? Yes, Burman. You just missed it, brother, brother. <laughs> but this will be going it looks to great. YouTube afterwards. So. <laughs> but it does look great. Okay. This looks cool. Man, I, I, it's not grabbing me, like, at all. No. I'm, I'm zero in. Zero percent in. But... I see how it would be cool for people. So if anyone wants to get it, Slivers, you're excited. Get this one so that we can play it. But I don't have to buy it. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, the art's great. It's art's cool rad. fantasy art. Yeah, I mean, you get to, like, equip your person with things and like, go explore and battle, hopefully. Like, I can see I can see if that was in front of me, like, getting into it, seeing it being really fun. But for whatever reason, as I'm, like, looking at it, I'm just, my eyes are glazing over. I'm kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, just, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think it's this getting kind of... Getting overwhelmed, man. I think it's this kind of... Uh, general brown aesthetic that's pretty constant throughout here that i'm just kind of like uh like show some of this, this art's great yeah show something because this is this no, is no, that's right there nah, 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 that's nothing for me uh julio says why why the canada hate on our canada day weekend let heart listen it's not you first of all we're just jealous we wish we could live up there second of all you know what you know what's up you know what's on thursday Maybe the day well. that the world was freed. <laughs> Boom. America Day. And, uh, no, I'm just being stupid. I love Canada. For having never been there, I feel real good about it. Uh, well, enjoy doing the spreadsheet yourself. Sorry, Slimmers, I love you. What? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I'm not hating on people. I said I want you to get the game. So yeah. that I don't have to. Exactly. Um, Tasty humans. Tasty. I like this guy. <laughs> They're jealous that Canada's the first and the USA is fourth. 100% yes. Don't so, what you love Felden Euros and you're complaining about brown? I don't like the fact that a lot of Euros are brown. <laughs> so, no. We, yeah, we've never defended that. Yeah. And to be fair, Castle Burgundy is tan. It's different. <laughs> different. Tasty humans. Tasty humans. Become monster. Eat villagers. A puzzle solving tile plays a board game for one four players. Ooh, just hit the goal. Nice, nice, nice. 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 Tasty humans blows me away. I'm so surprised pleasantly by the depth that is on display. Okay, Rideau. Rideau. So, 36 minute tally, pattern building game for one of four players. You are a fantasy monster trying to sate your insatiable appetite. As you and your fellow monsters toss around the village king, you attract a steady buffet of adventurers who try poorly to put up a fight. Take turns <laughs> selecting which adventurers to consume, dropping various body parts into your stomach. Once you or another monster fills their stomach, the most satisfying mon satisfied monster wins. Fun. Oh, wow. Dark. Tasty humans. 
So choose an, an adventurer to consume. Okay. You're going to get like a cleric or a peasant and stuff. I want mm -hmm. this one. I want that peasant. Give me the peasant's heart. Adventurers give up uh, when you decide to eat them. Their friends, though, don't. Okay. And uh, you can take uh, damage from other adventurers. Swordsmen for each swordman adjacent to the adventurer take damage tile. Okay, so it seems like what you grab from where might matter. Okay. Eat the delicious adventure. Other adventures have all sorts of weird effects. If you eat them, wizards, if you eat one, two adjacent tiles in your stomach of your choice, swap places. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. So you're putting things into the stomach, literally. That is hilarious. Yeah. Step two, eat the delicious adventurers. You choose adventure, eating any damage you take. So you take the stuff. Okay. So it becomes like a polyominal tetrisy thing. That is wild. So they get those things that are on their card. You can put them where, Choose them however you want to want drop more. them. Yep. 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 Interesting. Okay. All the way to the bottom of your stomach. That's funny. And then you reveal the next delectable adventurer and tally your score. So I'm curious about how this scores. So how do you know how satisfied okay. you are with a meal? The answer is leader tiles. Leader tiles are dropped into your gut after each round of play. Where other tiles are in relation to leader tiles play... Where other tiles are in to relation to leader tiles plays a big role in your final score. The scoring rules for each leader tile base. Oh, so it gives you the shapes and things that you want. It's a weird, weird. Uh, lunch is up in here, by the way. It says lunch uh, has that dropping slash filling in gap type Tetrisy vibe. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and Sliver says, I encourage anyone who likes D&D &D to look at Legends of Novus. All right, well, if that's a D&D &D vibe, well, now we're talking about something, aren't we? I get it. It was the Kickstarter page. It just wasn't, wasn't doing it for me. It's a good Kickstarter page, Slivers. Looks, this so looks weird. fun. What's the, what, do we, what do you got on this? We got uh, uh, a 60, 62. No. That's a 25. lot for this. How much do you? 25. Oh, that's Legends of Novus. Oh, 25. That's a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> so this is not a sixty dollar game. Twenty five dollar game for sure. That's great. That's really cute. I like that. <laughs> what a great game! That was really fun. Okay, now all right. This tiny, uh, I think it's a. It's an indie game. Yeah, it's a real uh, underachiever. It's not going anywhere, so far as I understand. Eternal adversary is afterwards, Mike. I want to find it. Find it, bro. President Zeus. Hold on, scroll up a little bit. Is that a game called Freaking Volcano? <laughs> oh, Freaking Fractals. Okay. I'll still down with that. But I was like, it's a freaking volcano! <laughs> like, I, I must have missed it because Darwinots is also. Oh, we'll click on that. Oh. What's it called? Eternal, Eternal Adversary. Adversary. Just trying to get everything lined up. Eternal they don't have to see us do this a ton. But now they have to see us do this a ton. No, 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 no. Is it literally like right next to it? Where the hell? Was it the one with the two spy looking people? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Madara! What? Um, it's raised two million. Oh, they smoky. They just got their other versions to people. Yeah. Um, Unintentional Malum, the complete trilogy. An epic adventure. All right, school. See you later. For full people. Went to fire. It's got a lot Whoa. of stuff. So your youth is threatened by a malicious everlasting parasite. The ancient self-proclaimed immortal god promises death to all that you love. Your family is in, imperiled by brewing war against unbeatable ancient rivals. There's a lot of that stuff going on. Um, what is Madara, Nick? This. There's a book that's like 500 pages long in it. Yeah, Madara is a great game that you can learn how to play from Shea Bone Capone. I don't know where Shea, is Shea Bone Capone is. I don't think so. But I think I saw Bowers Game Court. I think you did, um, Lunchy. Uh, we'll, we'll stop by. We'll have a little bit of time. Um, 
Over a decade, the Mega Madara contains an infinitely expandable narrative-driven universe where one 30-plus hour campaign can interact with another. Your choices will echo Ooh. through our product line as you experience ever That's pretty cool. evolving world of decisions, combat, and character growth. I mean, and the art is pretty sad. Just fine. Pretty, pretty soft. Yeah. Yeah. It is just fine. Just dope. So I think that's the dude that Nick is. It's like that big guy. This dude? I love it. Yeah. So Nick and Shay, new Nick and Shay are playing this game or have been playing for some time now. Yeah, so if you lose, the outcome of the story just continues. It doesn't, doesn't yeah. you don't stop or try some off. Real consequences, consequences apparently. Consequences? Happen. Uh, probably so my days. video is so far down on this page, it's hilarious. That is upsetting to me because like your video will be the best thing to get people to know how to play the game. It's like, shouldn't it be first? Whatever. The point is, if anyone wants to know anything about this butt crap game, uh, go check out Shay's video on it. It'll make it. No, I'm just kidding. It's probably, it seems cool. Shay, have you and Nick still been playing? Are you all like continuing down the road? Uh, down down this ever winding path. Just gonna scroll through this insanely long page. Just going it's a very through. Very long page. I'm trying to get the Shay's part. I don't care about this part. This is a pretty cool nail. The big chef guy is pretty cool. Interesting. I assume it's a chef. It doesn't look like. So much stuff. I'm gonna keep doing this. So much. Look at how much stuff you get. And what's the price on this bad manager? Oh, a lot. 115 15 bucks. That's actually not bad. bad. That's not bad for all this. Lots it's not of bad. stuff. Look at the bits. This game will look great on the game top. I'll tell you what. And if you got look at how big this book is, it's so insane. Freaking yeah, nerds. I am. I'm, right, we're trying to find Shay. We're trying to find Shay. I mean, people, a lot of people know about this game. It looks, I mean, it looks cool. It seems fun from what I've heard from Mr. Shay, who has played the game quite a bit now. These people know this game from Shay, and how how lucky are we to have him? But yeah, but hey, Shay, you know they. So uh, it's not even that your video is so far down. It's just this page is so ridiculous that like everyone's getting pushed down. Like we're not even halfway down the side. Let's go super speed mode. Hmm. That's gonna be a bit frustrating because what in the hell is this? I'm so overwhelmed by just the amount of stuff on this page. Yep, we're still going. There ain't no one getting down this far on the page that's still reading actively. Look at this. What are micro adventures? I don't know. Uh, Who cares? Who cares? Hey uh, Shay, what's a micro adventure, buddy? Can you tell me? <laughs> Jesus. Still, still. I don't even know what's going on. The point is, is there's a lot. Okay. This is so insane. Oh, there's some bits. Hey! hey! <laughs> All right, Nick, click it up. We're watching the whole thing right now. We're watching the whole damn thing. Boom. Shit. Wow. Look at his beautiful face. Look at this guy. I love him so much. Look at that. Right here. You see Look this? See the see subscribe? I'm subscribed. Are you subscribed? Boom. I'm subscribed. 11K, not enough. God, he's so beautiful. He's a beautiful man. Got great teeth. Best teeth in the board game. Game. Best teeth in the biz. God, just so good. Looks great with a beard. Love Looks it. great without a beard. How I dare know. he? Oh, what a Long hair, man. short hair, no hair. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's Shay. Shay's the best. Um, yeah. This is... Uh, it's 30 minutes. It's bananas. It's the yeah. best. It took us longer to scroll down to his video than it takes to learn how to play the game from his video. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is just bananas. <sighs> yeah. The amount is so overwhelming. Like, I can't handle Kickstarters like this. Like, just because... It's a lot. I just fam. can't. I can't. It's a lot. I can't. Fam. Um, all right, cool. That's Madara. Little game, little micro game. What's a button shy game, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. It's a wallet. As long as your wallet is a state. <laughs> I just want to look at the 3D printed ones. I don't care much about anything else. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's 3D printed? Mm -hmm. So how do they not have the lineys? You have higher resolution. We we have more lineys because I always, almost always do it at 0.2 millimeters because it's kind of, it's right. that's because they're draft, like the draft level. Okay. Because I just don't care enough. Yeah. And on top of that, they probably sanded the crap out of this. Like, yeah, you can sand it. That gets rid of a lot of the lines. But you can, we can take ours down to, I think, like, point small. But it adds so much time, right? That's the thing. Because keep on, if I put it down from 0.2 millimeters to 0.1 it's millimeters, double, the, double time. the time. So then if I go, like, 0.05 millimeters. Have you, have you ever printed something just, to, it, like, small or whatever and trying to see how far you can push the No, resolution? I want to, though. But there's times I should make I'm a video about that, just about, like, resolution differences. Yeah. Like, the same little piece at different re resolutions. But also, depends. I'll, I'll need more nozzles. Because when you start getting smaller, you need smaller nozzles. So, like, we only oh. have one nozzle. So, like, we'd have to... Don't, don't have, have the Nas. I got the Nas. I mean, have the great nozzle. I just, like... David backs all of these. These kind of, like, big monster ones. He's got, like... 
like probably like over a couple thousand like STL files. That's intense. Yeah, dude. So nuts. Sorry, that's all. And then meanwhile, she's like, I don't like this printer. Get rid of it. You're like, how are you going to print all these files? Oh, Viz and Dutre. Oh, Darwin Oz, dang. All right. Give ex- interdimensional shit exploration. This is going to be the last one, my fam. Out of this world, work of placement tile, laying a set collection by Chris Bryan with our Viz and Dutre from Greencast Games. Come on down. That's interesting. I'm expecting to be a little more than this. Well, it's very Viz and Dutre-y. But it looks pretty fine. No, it's great. I love it. Very, <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. Like I, I think it's good no, to have your own style. Thing. But you can tell Vince Dre art so instantaneously. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just nuts. Shay, what are you doing right now, buddy? Nuts. Pop the pants off. Why not? Dude, love it. Congratulations! After decades of hard work, scientists have opened a portal to another dimension filled with alien life. You are one of the few brave enough to venture into the exciting but dangerous new land to research and record new species. The world watches to see the discoveries that will be uncovered. I'll do it. The media W is as the Darwin Nuts for daring to go beyond to record the new origins of species. You must work quickly to bring back records of the most exotic life forms to secure your place in history. But be careful. The portal's unstable and won't remain open for long. The rift is coming. It's coming. I, I'm very happy that seemingly you're just going to go over here to study things. You're not going to like go into a different dimension and be like, come here, come to Earth, and I'm going to show you what you are. And just like ripping, uh, you know, life forms out from other. I'm very sensitive to that today. Don't like it. So Darwin Oz. Okay. So yeah, that guy made lanterns. Nice game. That's cool. Uh, during the course of the game, player takes two actions on the turn. Select five, 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 when we're ever recording a species, player immediately uh, take one of five possible bonus actions. I can't like actually read all this. This is very mm-hmm. give me give me some gifts. Okay. 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 She so put on the oh look at him. Look at that looker right there. Look at Vincent Trey painting. One thing I like about Vincent Trey is he does physical art. He doesn't do digital art. That's pretty cool. Which I like because I do physical art and I feel like everyone, especially everyone in the board game industry, does digital art, and I like the fact that he doesn't. Right. Uh, Mrs. Green Couch is my neighborhood company. What? What? Uh, who this is? I can't get into lifestyle games like Madara and Spracknell and Slippers are playing Madara every day at Dice Tower. Making use of the time. Um, ooh, Slipper says Nick and Mike will each be playing two characters, so you'll have to stop by and take control of one character and play Madara with us. I'm down. I'm yeah. down to like, if, if, it, if it, you don't mind me like not understanding like what's happening. <laughs> I'm down. I'll come in and like maybe get someone killed on accident. Yeah, and, sounds great. Yeah, you know, ruin something and you're like, well, that was seven hours of work. Thanks. And I'm like, I'm ready. Finally, one. Tantrum House clicked off to one. Bing. <laughs> Bang. Uh, Silver says, or uh, excuse Bang. me, Shay says, I'm watching you guys. Just finished Terraform Mars. Dab on it, so I'm taking some time off. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm glad. Last week we we hung Is out with uploaded? Shay. I mean, I probably finished working on it. Oh, okay, cool. I would imagine, unless you did upload it. Um, yeah, last week we were we played some games and Shay came and he was a bit, he was a bit like, harried looking. He's like, "Huh? I'm taking a break, man. I can take a break if I want." And I'm like, "You, you should play a game, buddy." And you're just like, "Yeah, I'm gonna play a game." I said, "It's all right, dude. It's all right." So I'm glad to know that you're on the other side now. Very cool. Very cool. P. Oh, Shay says what Slippers is doing is right. If you're playing a two-player game, just control two characters each. Play it a four-player game. Because it's there's kind of two and three-player variant thingies. It's like, eh, don't bother. Don't bother. Well, coolio, people, yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that was cool. One thing that's really cool about this particular Kickstart Let Heart that hasn't happened yet is this. Uh, is is one time where every game we looked at has been something that's been mentioned in our Discord yes. by fellow Bing Bong. So every single game here is a Bing Bong pick. Yep. A Bing Bong interest level, which yep. is super cool to know that people are talking more and more about stuff on our Discord, which is a super fun place to hang. It's like Zagats, but for Kickstarter. Yeah, Zagats. You know? Um, yeah, yeah, that so was good. Very, very cool. Very cool list. Some very interesting stuff. What would you awesome. say you were most interested in? Obviously, like... Uh, role player because there's a, a known quality there. That's fair. Um, Tasty Humans was like sillily one of the fun ones. 
And then there was that game, oh gosh, there's a couple early on. There was one for 60 that we thought was a little expensive. Isle of Cats looked really good. Isle of Cats looked good. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, my favorite was probably Dwellings of Elder Vale. That one, yeah, looked, that looked really good. Neat. looked really good. That one, that one looked really cool. And there was another game that was like pretty affordable as well. But like Isle of Cats and Dwellings of Elder Vale, of the games that we don't know really anything about, were probably my picks. And then, of course, like Role Player, because we know. Yeah. We know. Like, I know I'm going to like that expansion because I like that game. Yeah, we know it's that good game. Yeah. So that's for my money, man. Those two, uh, Dwellings of Eldervale and Isle of Cats, are, uh, seem cool. Yeah, seem very cool. Seem pretty cool. So, all right, everybody, that is going to be it, you fam. Um, we love you all. Yeah. We are going to be at Dice Tower Con. We are going to be in, uh, in uh, Florida tomorrow night. Late really from night. Tuesday yeah. on, but Missy, what'd you ask? Come on, I, f- I feel bad. I missed something. Did I miss something? What I missed? You I never missed. respond. Answered. I answered for you. Your answer is yes. I mean, my answer probably is yes. Where? Where is it? What area? I'm sorry, I missed it. There's so many areas, and it's hard to keep track of them all. But it's also Nick's fault. He's not very good at Discord. Um, he hasn't quite got it down yet. Indeed. Us cool kids. Almost missed this. Glad I'll be able to watch the replay. You got it, Helen. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutive. Yeah. It's good stuff today. Definitely good stuff today. I think Alicats includes shipping in the sixty dollars price to that's the U.S. Bad. That's not quite that bad. That does help. Uh, Dice Tower Con, yeah, Paisans. I was, I think I was asking you, or maybe I did. Oh, I was interested. Y'all have seen interesting on the underground. That's that the first true. thing we looked at. That's that why. True. Thank you. That was the other thing. On the underground seemed interesting. Thank you. It's like we get through these things, and my brain sort of melts. And there's like, what were you interested in? I'm like, ah, uh, there was a game at some point, and it looked cool, and there might have been minis or cards. I don't. Maybe both. Maybe none. Uh, right now, Dutch. Uh, Sorry, I thought I had. I, I guess I had. Um, reply to the question, Nick. Trading. Okay. I There's so many questions, people. So you don't even ask me questions. Oh, I do remember this, Missy. Yeah, because no one ever knows you don't check Discord. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to like, like, check it Oh, today. no, there's probably a reason. Absolutely. See, everyone knows you don't check Discord. <laughs> I'm going to shame you until you start checking Discord. I'm getting better at it. You are slightly better. I'm slightly better. Uh, yes, I did see that, Missy. Like... And yes, our answer was yes. <laughs> Sorry. I, I said yes in my head and I forgot okay, to actually so that. What's the question? Or is nope, this like I not... didn't check Discord, dude. This is in Discord. What area of Discord? <laughs> she literally just said. Um, Wait. Have fun if it's in trading. Oh, um, this is a trading area? Yeah. Tests on you because I knew that. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, I always love Let Heart, even if there isn't a Kickstarter <laughs> interested in you, make me want to check them out anyway. I, I hear you. That's I our whole you. goal. It's just like, you know what? Check I know. It it's just an excuse to all hang out together, really. That's what's going on. Really, that's all it is. A chill stream. Yeah. You know. Uh, Shay says, Have fun in Florida, boys. We should hang out when you get back. Uh, yes, absolutely. Please. Can you scroll yes. up just a hair for me? Um, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, uh, Shea Bay, yeah, we'll we'll hang when we get back for show, um, and we'll talk about filming that thing, uh, as well. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, ha- for anyone that is gonna be in Florida this week, we will see you there. Um, yeah. I cannot wait. Yeah, we're coming in late tomorrow, um, just because the time change makes it that way. Um, and then we're gonna be hanging out Tuesday, then Wednesday. The, it's on. The con is on. The con is on. The con is on indeed. Oh, that sucks, Missy. Our sisters came in already. I know. Uh, yeah. Paisan says, see you on a couple days. Hugs incoming. Can't Hell wait. We're yeah. locked and loaded, ready to go. I'm saving them up for days. Um, anything else? Oh, sweet. That's it. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Have a good week if we don't see you in person or talk to you. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.